Pregnancy Options Centre uh, has two main aims. We provide free, uh, non-biased uh, help and support to anyone who's facing an unplanned pregnancy and wants somewhere to come and chat through their options. Uh, so we'll be there to kind of uh, unravel all their thoughts and feelings um, in a real safe environment. Uh, we're also here to give longer term support for anyone who has had a pregnancy loss, which includes a miscarriage, a ectopic pregnancy, a stillbirth, or if they've had a termination. So that usually is about six months support, where again, we'll look through um, kind of how they're thinking and feeling, their circumstances uh, at the time, and helping them to really build towards a, a positive future. Um, so that is all a free service. We get referred from GPs, local midwives, uh, Time to Talk service as well will refer to us or you can self-refer. So you can just look at our website or Facebook page. Uh, we also do deliver interactive educational workshops to young people in the local area, so within schools and other youth venues, looking at healthy sex and relationships and topics of consent, online safety, um, and looking what a good, uh, not healthy or unhealthy relationship may look like. Uh, so we uh, deliver those in schools uh, and youth settings uh, across the kind of Chichester and Arran area. So VAC has been a real big support for Pregnancy Options Centre. Uh, as a small charity, it's great to have people that you can go to to chat more about um, kind of the organisational side and running governance funding. Uh, so they've helped us in quite a few ways in the last year. Uh, we've been able to have grant, grant um, applications being successful from VAC funding searches. So asking them to look for particular funds um, in different areas of both of our work, um, as well as the e-newsletter that they send out. We've been able to look at the funds that are on there, uh, apply to them and have successful applications, which is always great for uh, an organisation that is uh, small and has part-time staff. They've also helped us to create a strategic plan for the next three years. So myself went to VAC um, to speak to one of their advisors about how to kind of start implementing that. Um, and from that, they helped us to deliver a, st a strategic planning day where we had staff um, and trustees all meet together to discuss uh, kind of all the opportunities, the threats and um, the things that we had going on. Uh, for Pregnancy Option Centre and what we thought the future could look like. From that meeting, we were able to collate that into a strategic plan, looking at what we're going to do for the next three years. Uh, so that's really helped us to uh, bring our focus in line with where we're going to be.